This is Quadra by UVI, and as you can see, we have the four layers. We have layer A, B, C, and D. All the layers are identical in terms of their features and functions, but we also have some global effects, global settings. So let me quickly show you the user interface and then we'll dive in. So this is the main view. This is where we have the four layers. And we also have the XY pad here to sort of uh, balance between those layers. Now, in addition, we can also randomize the sounds and we'll experiment with that later but we also can stop or start the arpeggiator for all the layers together. So that's the main view. We have some other things here like intensity, we have dynamics, and we have band range and mapping, the MIDI mapping. Next, for each of the layers, we have its own setting sound and arpeggiator. And we also have the mute, solo, we have the uh, volume and we have balance here. We have the panning left, right, center. And on the right here, we have the global effects. So here we have two send effects, the reverb and delay, which we can use with each of the layers. And we also have drive, compressor, EQ, and a maximizer. So now let's dive into Quadra and see how it works and we'll even create our own sound from scratch. And so now let's take for example layer A. So for each of the layers we have its uh, icon, its uh, image here and if we click this we'll get into the sound and arpeggiator settings for this layer. Then we also have the sound settings or preset. If you click this you'll get different categories. We have acoustic guitars, electric guitars, electric basses, classical strings, keyboards, synthetic sounds, and world instruments. Now, we also have the ability to do so within the layer settings. If you click the icon here, go to sound, we have the presets here, and we have the sound. So we'll go into this in a moment. Back to the main view. Here we also have the arpeggiator settings. If you click this again, you'll get some categories like bass line, bass chords, chords, complex, experimental, and other types of arpeggiators. Of course, you can also create your own patterns, your own phrases, and I'll show you that in a moment. Next, for each of the layers, next, for each of the layers, we have the key ranges. Now this is pretty cool because we can set for each of the layers different key ranges. So for example, if we have a bass, we can decide that it will only play on certain notes. So let me show you how this works. You click and drag up or down and you set the range. And now this layer will only play on the selected keys. Right, and I can do so for each of the layer separately. Of course, I can just drag up and down and create those key ranges for each of the layers. Let's go back to the default here. Next, we also have octave and we have the reverb and delay sends. So this is a quick overview of layer A and of course it applies to all the layers that we have A, B, C and D. Next, let's dive into the layers settings. So you click the A for layer A, B for layer B, C and D and you get two views. We have the sound view and we have the arpeggiator view. Let's start with sound. So here we have the amplitude envelope. This is an ADSR envelope. If you're not sure what is an envelope, check my channel for a video explaining everything you need to know. And we also have a filter with low pass, high pass, bend path. 
and we have frequency, resonance, drive, and we also have a filter envelope here. So if you into sound design and you want to shape the sound even further, you can definitely do so with the filter. We have some pitch and voicing settings here with color, octaves, semitones, and we have alternate uh, uh, unison voicing and we have unison classic as well. And you can detune spread and detune the sound across the stereo field. Let, let me show you how this works. So first of all, I'm going to solo this layer and this is how it sounds right now. And now let's detune. Cool. So you can definitely use this and shape the sound and get some very interesting uh, settings here. So next we have expression and in expression we have uh, vibrato, tremolo, frequency shifter and drive. Let me show you how this works. So first of all, as you can see, we have will. This is the mod will. So we can control the vibrato and tremolo uh, with the mod will. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to turn it on. And we can also control the speed here. I mean, we can just do this manually. Next, we have tremolo. Let's solo that and listen. And we have the frequency shifter, we have drive, and we also have some MIDI effects like frequency shifter here. And we can just shape our sound with these effects. We have wave shaper. Chorus. We have phaser. And an EQ. So this is all identical in all of the layers. Now let's jump over to the arpeggiator. So first of all, we have an on and off button here. So this means that we can actually use this layer or any other layer as a melodic instrument just you know without the arpeggiator so let me turn this off right and we can turn it on then we have two modes we have phraser and we have classical arpeggiator. If you select the arpeggiator, notice that you can click this uh, um, motion here and we have uh, up, down, up and down. And we have the octave low notes and we also can set the maximum velocity for the different steps, number of steps, the rate and gate. Then we have four pages that we can actually program here. And for each of the pages, we have these slots here and we can set the velocity. Then we have the type and we have a basic harmonized and chord. Let's try something like fifth. So you can actually hear that uh, particular harmonized uh, voicing here. Then we have chords and we can do this as played or maybe inverted. And so on. So very, very nice, very, um, I would say very melodic and, and it just uh, sounds amazing and very easy to use. So next we also have pitch. We have octaves, we have gate, 
repeats and also panning so we can actually send any of these slots to left and right just by clicking and dragging up and down here. Now on the bottom here we have some very interesting other features. For example, we have the Euclidean emphasis which uh, follows Euclidean patterns. So if you're not sure what is it, just try it out. You'll uh, discover uh, some very, very cool sounds that it adds. And you can read all about Euclidean patterns, I guess, in Wikipedia and other places. Then we have some MIDI effects and we can select the mode here with this drop down. We have MIDI delay, random and pitch drift. So if you select the MIDI delay, for example, you'll get uh, the controls here for the MIDI delay. You have the amount and you can see the uh, panning mode here from sequence or maybe random. And we can also select random here or pitch drift. If you select pitch drift, you, you have all the other controls for the pitch drift. And then finally we have scale locking here. So we can actually turn this, let's turn it on and we can select the mode here, for example, manual, and then we can lock our arpeggiator into any of these scales. Now back in the main view, let's listen to what we have so far. And what we can also do is we can turn off the arpeggiator for one of the layers from here as well. As you can see for each of the layers we have this little orange dot here. So I can turn this on and off. Let's solo layer D. And I can also turn this arpeggiator on. So now let's listen to everything together and also turn the arpeggiator off so we can play something. And this is Quadra by UVI. And I'll also show you now. Now let's create our own preset from scratch. So I'm going to select the basic no ARP to get started. And this is what we have. So this is a uh, Strat Harmonics pick and we can just click this sound menu, select something else. Let's listen to this one, the Strat Harmonic Thumb. Right, and we can also arpeggiate that. We'll turn on the arpeggiator. And let's just select something chord variations. Next, let's go to layer B. So I'm going to unmute layer B and we can just take, for example, something like a bass. And we'll solo this.
right? And everything together with an arpeggiator. So the arpeggiator doesn't match really. So let's select something else like bass lines and clean phrases. Next, let's unmute layer C and select, for example, something synthetic and analog. Um, let's try Joe Bun. And I'm going to solo layer C. And let's select something else for the arpeggiator, something more complex. And everything together. Cool. And next, let's add layer D. So I would like to have layer D with something more melodic. Let's try and find some keyboard like J chorus here. And I'm going to solo this. Let's listen. And we can turn the reverb on, remove some of the delay, and now everything together. And now if we're not happy with the sounds, of course, no problem. Let's try something else. Let's go for world instruments and we can try, for example, electric mandolin muted. And we'll solo this. Very delicate. So let's try and go into this, this particular layer and add a bit of uh, drive. We can actually just tweak this filter here. Remove the tremolo, go for vibrato, and now let's have everything together. Very cool. So this is Quadra by UVI. I really hope you enjoy this one. Of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm uploading new videos all the time. If you have any questions or any comment, please leave them below this video and I'll be happy to answer as quickly as I can. And you can also follow me in Facebook, in Twitter and other places. I'll put all the links in the description of this video and I'll see you soon. And so thank you and bye-bye.